Get your bats ready. Use flexibility with numbers to create numbers to hit your players around the bases. Use probability to strategically label the bases. To play, you'll need an at bat with math game board, two dice, number cards 0 through 12, 20 to 30 markers for each team, and three pennies. To set up the game, cut out the number cards and place them face down next to the game board. If there are more than two players, split players into two teams. Choose which team will be the home team and which will be the away team. The goal of the game is to add or subtract numbers to create new numbers. Label the bases with strategically chosen numbers to help your team score runs while keeping your opponents from winning the game. To win, be the team with the highest score at the end of round three. The game is played in three rounds. In round one, the away team begins by randomly selecting four numbers and placing them on the bases. The home team bats first. On your turn, roll the dice. You can either add the two numbers or subtract them to create a number that equals one of the numbers on the bases. If you create one of the numbers on the bases, move your marker to the base with that number. If other team members' markers are on the bases, advance markers, but only if they are forced forward. Move markers that reach home into the scoreboard for your team. If you cannot create a number on the bases, your team receives an out. Use the pennies to mark outs in the middle of the board. After 10 runs or three outs, the home team's turn ends. Remove markers from the bases. Change the numbers on the bases. The away team bats now. Round one ends when the away team rolls its third out. Next, we'll see an example of round one of at bat with math being played. You got six, and you add four to six. What would you get? Um, if we subtracted it, it would be two. Okay. And if you had six and you added four, what would you get? Ten. Ten. Is there a ten on the basis? Yes, there is. Okay, so place a player right there, and then you stop the roll. Five and four. Five plus four That's is nine, nine, but five plus nine. minus four. Nine. Oh, right there. Okay, so where does the other purple one need to run? Right here. There you go. Okay. Round two begins with the away team randomly selecting four number cards again. This time, the bases are labeled in order of how likely the numbers chosen are to be rolled. First base will be labeled with the most likely number to be rolled, and home base with the least likely number to be rolled. Play continues as in round one. Round two ends when the away team earns 10 runs or its third out. Before round three, instead of randomly selecting number cards, both teams choose which numbers they want to place on the bases. The home team sets their numbers aside. The away team labels the bases first. The home team bats first. Play continues as in round one. The goal of this round is to try and win the game. After the home team bats, they arrange the numbers they chose at the beginning of round three on the bases. Round three ends when the away team earns 10 runs or its third out. Here are some questions to think about while playing or after play. Is there an equal chance of getting each number zero through 12? What are all the possible outcomes that can be rolled using two dice? What labels on the bases give you your team the greatest chance for rolling a hit? What strategies did you use when labeling the bases in round three? One variation of the game is to play Multiplication League, where batters can use addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division to combine two numbers rolled. Another variation for more advanced players is Advanced League, where players can use any operations to combine the two numbers rolled. Ask more advanced players to avoid addition and subtraction if possible. What's the probability that you will hit it out of the park 